Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at the gold mod roadmap which obviously is going to be using gold radios for the very first time. People talked about this for so long. They even removed the icon from the game because it just tilted people so much. So, But now we've got our first ever gold radio. We got it in an offer yesterday. It was part of like a package. I think it was like a midway point on the cake and candles week package. Um, it had cakes, it had RTS tokens. The first week we got... Um, the same sort of thing, but it was much low, more low key, and the second one was much, much more buffed up. And I, and and obviously there was a a, um, a radio as part of that, and it is a gold radio. The stages are a little bit different formation to the other radio maps. If you see, these are three and three, and it's twelve, twelve, twelve for the the, the silver, eight, eight, eight for the the um, bronze. Um, so when I first saw this pop up, I thought, hey, what this could be is three stages, and it could be like. I know 14, 14, 14. First stage gives a bronze, second stage a silver, third stage a gold. That would be pretty cool. Just to have three mob boxes. But it's, it is quite expensive. But it gives some um, some scrap on the stages. I believe this is non farmable. You can't farm anything off these stages. We'll check it out. But for completion rewards, you do get a gold mod, which is 100% chance of a gold mod, which is, which is good. Um, gold mods are good, of course. Um, and it's every single type of gold mod by the looks of things. Every t single set, and I assume the, just the, the the shape is every single type of um, mod within that shape. So um, we're gonna go. We're gonna unlock it. When we unlock it, you get 45 minutes. So it says this will enable access for the next 45 minutes. So if you do get gold radios, you wanna have enough energy to actually do this. The total energy it costs looks to be what's this? 60 77 quick maths so it's 77 energy so if you're max level you're gonna need basically all your energy to be able to do this so this is the first bit of energy i'm going to be spending today so i just unlock it and it pretty much enables me to get access to it i have to do one stage at a time and what i'm going to do is i'm going to blitz through it to the last stage um and then i'll just i'll just talk about it then as well Okay, so coming to the end of this roadmap, this is the last stage. Every single stage is for energy, uh, for waves. Every single stage is humans as well, which is, I guess, the harder version. I am, I am autoing it with a fairly just normal, I guess, free to play, you know, setup. I am taking farm characters as well, just to try and get as much out of this as possible. It is using a lot of energy. That is the downside. It is using a lot of energy. I think my idea, as much as Obviously, I'm biased. I think all my ideas are amazing. I think everyone should think their own ideas are pretty good. Um, but my idea, went, or my assumption initially, I think would probably work better. It could make it cost quite a lot of energy, maybe. I don't know, 20 energy a, a go. But if they, I think the bottleneck on these roadmaps isn't going to be so much like, it shouldn't be the energy you're spending to actually do it. It's going to be the gold radios themselves. I think when you get a gold radio, you're just going to do this instantly. What's to stop you? Why would you not do it? Because the rewards are actually decent whereas the bronze and silver radios aren't that great i did see trolley polly's video about this and he was talking about um potentially being able to rank these up you know break down your gold, um silver radios break down your bronze radios i'd like to see that i can't see it happening because as you can see i mean i've got 166 120 i've got a lot of radios i could get a lot of gold radios out of that so unless it's like like 30 silver for one gold or something i don't know it would have to be a lot basically um so i'm not really sure about that but i mean it's a nice idea mainly because i think the main reason charlie's saying this is because these rare gear and uncommon gear are pretty useless for me unless i really need to do those pieces of gear they're pretty useless so as you can see i did it in five minutes pretty easy stage rewards are just normal in terms of the gear you get um you get a little bit of this and that um i don't think there's anyone special there's no lilith in here by the looks of things unless i can i missed her i do miss characters sometimes when i scroll through um so but it, you're mainly doing it for the gold mods you're getting some scraps bonus it does cost 77 energy i think it would be better if it was just three and three stages like the other ones and it was just you the first stage you got a bronze and this way someone who actually gets a gold mod who is a new player will get something out of it if they can't do all three so you can make it i mean i, I doubt it's going to ever be changed i i i hope that maybe they look at these and say, hey, actually, this could maybe even be improved a little bit. But if it was three stages, the first stage could be like an easy version. So like walkers. So like if you are new to the game and you get a gold radio and you use it by mistake, at least you can get a bronze mod out of it. Then it maybe can go human and human again, you know, and the gold 
the gold stage can be maybe more difficult. I don't know. I'll just open this one gold mod. Because I think I've only got one gold mod on this region. There we go. I'll save the rest of my stream that I open on Thursday. Let's see if I can get something good. And... Not really good. Intact wild impaired. I don't think that's great, personally. At least it's not attack while confused. That one's really bad. Get confused, your attack goes up by whatever percent, and then you attack one of your own teammates. Not good. So hopefully you got lucky with your gold mod from this roadmap. Um, hopefully they hand out these radios on a more regular basis. We'll see. Um, that's in this video, guys. What do you think about gold radios finally being released? And obviously the rewards that we can get for it and the cost. So it'll be good to get your full input on that if you have an opinion on about maybe it costs too much, maybe you think the rewards should be slightly better. I think it, whenever I see the question, and I am posing this question to you guys, should the rewards be better? Everyone's going to say yes in every situation. <laughs> Give me more free stuff. This is pretty much what it's always going to be. But I, I don't think this the reward structure in this particular one is balanced, especially compared to the other ones that are in there. Um, I'd like to see it maybe cost a little bit less energy overall and there'd be a bronze and a silver mod on the other stages. That that would be perfect in my opinion. 20 energy a stage, 3 stages, 60 energy, still quite expensive, but you get a bronze, the silver, and then a gold mod, and I think that would be pretty good. Um, just my personal opinion, but that's the end of this video, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in, and as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving. <laughs>